Dear viewer, I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ. I hope you are well and the Lord has kept you fine. And today I would like to welcome you to uh, day 52 of uh, the 100 days of prayer. And our prayer focus today is committing to Jesus. And our text comes from the book of Exodus 4, 30 to 31. Before we read the scriptures, uh, shall we have a word of prayer? Our kind and loving master, we thank you and we glorify your name for today. As we lead from your word and Jehovah God, as we prepare to bring forth our prayers and supplications, we want to invoke the Holy Presence to abide with us. May you be with us, speak to us, and Jehovah God, may your will be done upon our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Bible in the book of Exodus 4, verse 30 and 31, the Bible says, And Aaron spoke all the words which the Lord had spoken to Moses. Then he did the signs in the sight of the people. So the people believed, and when they heard that the Lord had visited the children of Israel, and that he had looked on their affliction. Then they bowed their heads and worshipped. This is a wonderful encounter, a wonderful, uh, the beginning of a wonderful story of the children of Israel and, coming, uh, and, and, their, and their journey uh, to come out of Egypt, their slavery land, to the land of Canaan. We see Moses have, um, have encountered God and God has instructed him that he wanted him to go and deliver his people as he had promised. And now the children of Israel have been instructed by Aaron. Remember, Moses was given Aaron as a helper because Moses was a stammerer. And when Aaron had what Moses wanted him to say to the children of Israel, and the children of Israel, after they gathered them, they heard of what God uh, have done or God has remembered them. They were full of joy. When faced with the reality of God's loving promise, of salvation from slavery, the people of Israel reaction was one of surrender, commitment, and worship. As you contemplate interpret God's incredible love for you, will you choose today to respond to him? The children of Israel, they chose to respond positively and they were very happy that God has thought, had, had, had thought about them. They responded to him with, a, with, with, with gratitude. They were happy. Today I want you to ask yourself, if you realize that God is gracious and is thinking about you positively, will you respond to him with the same attitude like the children of Israel? Will you do that? You desire, I know that your desire is to give yourself to him. But maybe sometimes you are weak in moral power, in slavery to doubt, and to control and controlled by the habits of your life of sin. You promise your promises and resolutions are like ropes of sand. You cannot control your thoughts, your impulses, your affections. The knowledge of your broken promises and forfeited pledges weakens your confidence in your own sincerity and causes you to feel that God cannot accept you. But let me tell you, you need not to despair. What you need to understand is the true force of the will. This is the governing power in the nature of men. The power of decision of of choice. Everything depends on the light action of the will. The power of choice God has given to men, it is theirs to exercise. You cannot change your heart. You cannot on yourself give to God its affections, but you can choose to serve him. You can give him your will. He will then work in you. Today, I want to ask you, will you do what is in accordance to the will of God? Thus, the whole nature of man 
will be brought under the control of the Spirit of Christ. Your affections will be centered upon Him. Your thoughts will be in harmony with Him. Today I want to ask a question to you. Will you give Him your will? Will you give Him your life? Will you give Him your heart? God is good. He desires to help and heal you. The process can hurt at times, but it is worth it. Why not let go of the world? Surrender and commit your life and will to God today and worship Him. And when you do that, let me tell you, my brothers, your troubles, your tribulations will melt away. Remember, burdens are lifted at Calvary. God loves you no matter what you're facing, no matter where what the situation that this pandemic has brought you. God still loves you. And he just, he's just waiting for you, my brother. He's just waiting for you, my sister, to submit yourself to him. And once you submit yourself to him, he will hold you and hide you under his wings where the devil will not get caught of you. Brothers and sisters, God is love. And is waiting for you. Like the children of Israel. When they heard that God th had thought about them. They went with joy to obey his will. And even they knelt down in praise of him. And they were confident that truly God will do what he promised to do. Today God is promising to be on your way. God is promising success in your life. God is promising that he will be with you. Even if you face tribulations, he is promising that he will be there for you. Will you give yourself to him? Thank you. For I know that you have made a decision to give your life to him. Today, we will focus on prayer and I would like to uh, request you that the prayers that you have been praying, maybe you feel that God has not answered those prayers, but remember, He is faithful God. He will answer you. He is answering your prayers today. Even as we speak, I know He knows what you need, but you just need to go before His throne in faith. Shall we pray? And as we pray, I want you to come to His presence in faith. I want you to, to, to just have faith that God will do what you have asked Him to do. Because He's faithful God and He loves you. He loves me. And that's why I'm confident to say that I love this God that I worship. As we pray, let us remember those who are faced with this problem. Let us remember the church. Now we don't worship anymore in our churches. And let us remember the mission work. Let us remember for the faithful members who are all around the world, who are taking care of the sick, who are taking care of those who uh, have been um, uh, caught up in this uh, mess of the COVID. And let us also remember the fraud, uh, the fraud victims who uh, 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 have been evicted from their houses because of the frauds, the heavy rains that are raining. And as we pray, remember to submit your life to Jesus Christ. Shall we pray? Our kind and loving Master in heaven, we come before thy throne of grace this moment. We thank you for the grace and mercies you have bestowed upon our lives. We thank you for the promises, the wonderful promises that you have given unto us. And we believe that the same way you fulfilled the promise of saving the children of Israel, you will come to fulfill your promise in our lives. The prayers that we have been submitting before thy throne of grace, we know that you know those prayers and you have heard our prayers and you're just waiting for the light time to come so that you can answer our prayers until then may you give us patience and may you be with us and give us strength to continue trusting in you this moment we want to bring forth the um, uh, those who are affected by the pandemic of covid 19. may you be with them jehovah be with the physicians who are taking care of them. Those who have lost their jobs, Father, may you be with them. Provide for them what to eat, even though it's through us, O Jehovah God. May you help us to have a kind heart so that we can share the blessings that you have given unto us. Those who are working in, in, in this area, in, in health care services, those, the government who is uh, working daily to see that they have curbed the spread of the, uh, the disease, Father, we pray that may you be with them also. And Father, more to that, may you prepare each one of us 
for your second coming so that we, we have submitted our lives to thee. Thank you because you have heard our prayers and thank you because you have asked answered these prayers. Even the, my dear viewer, I know he has posted the prayers before the throne of grace. May you answer these all prayers. In Jesus' name we pray and give thanks. Amen. Thank you. May God bless you and have a wonderful time.